Path of Exile, the game known for culling the weak at level 2. One passive skill point available. This is your first opportunity to realize you may be in over your head, because like a steep mountain, Path of Exile's learning curve is unforgiving and punishing. Fear not, for you are not alone, my friend. Today I'd like to give you a random assortment of tools to help you build your character and scale that learning curve mountain. One of the central ideas when building a character is how big your life pool should be. To illustrate this idea, I made a chart of a few endgame bosses showing how much damage you can expect from a few of their skills. Notice that the boss fights in PoE are almost always built this way, where they have an extremely deadly but very avoidable boss attack, and then there are less avoidable but also much less deadly skills. When deciding how much life you need in a build, this is very important to consider if you want your character to be successful in these fights. Notice the skills you won't be avoiding as much have much more feasible numbers to overcome with your life pool. And if you increase your life over that specific threshold, then you greatly increase your chance of survival and success rate in these fights. Feel free to make your own assumptions on this information, but what I have found to be true is if you want to succeed in these fights, you needed a bare minimum 5,000 life, and generally it starts to feel much better at around 6,000 life. Our life pool isn't our only defense against dying to the bosses in Path of Exile. An exile also needs offense to survive these encounters. Notice Shaper's life. He has almost 75 million HP. That's a lot of damage you gotta deal out in order to finish him off. I made a chart based on a few damage numbers and how long it would take to kill the boss if you're DPSing him the whole time, which isn't gonna be the case because he'll have invulnerability phases and times when you can't actually damage him because you're dodging attacks. Notice how long these fights can go on with low damage. This means you the player has to avoid and survive many more attacks from the boss. I've done these fights on very low DPS and it is grueling. It can be done, but I'd highly recommend against it and you wanna really shoot for higher damage numbers. I'd say at the bare minimum, you want at least 200 to 500,000 DPS for these fights to even feel doable, because lower than that, it starts to become very grueling and very punishing with how many attacks you have to avoid. Also, on Shaper's stat sheet, and this is true for most other endgame bosses, you're going to notice he has very high resistances. From this, we can see the importance of penetration and or lowering the enemy resistances. Penetration, like most things, has diminishing returns, which can be seen here as you see each additional 10% I get here, I get less and less out of it but its early value is very powerful and strong to consider when planning out your character offensively. Last lesson from his stat sheet I'd like you to notice is 66% less curse effect. This means all curses you apply to him only affect him at a third of their value. From this, I would highly suggest never specking into curse effect as a way of seeking damage on endgame bosses, as with all the investment, you'll only yield a third of the effort out of it. Last but not least is the importance of resistances. In Path of Exile, the game is balanced around the player capping out their elemental resistances to 75, meaning if you don't, you will simply just die a lot. This makes it a good idea to get your resistances at least to 75, but it doesn't end there. Map mods can apply curses to you that lower your resistances, which is a death sentence if you stop at 75%. You're capped at 75, but the game will keep track of how much over 75 you go, and the curse will lower the amount over the 75 you've gone. So I've charted out a few amounts of resistances over 75 you need to be if you want to basically be immune to these curses and these map mods. If you don't do this, you're better off just rolling over the map mod if you just stop at 75. Otherwise, if you go over capped, you can run the map mod and you don't even feel it. It's an extra mod and then doesn't hurt you. But otherwise, it's a death sentence if you don't overcap for it. Now, these have been a few important lessons I had to learn on my climb up the PoE learning curve, and I wanted to share them with you. If you have any other confusing or convoluted PoE topics, as there's many and there's a plethora of them out there, feel free to let me know in the comments so that maybe I can go over and cover them in the future. I'm thinking about going over diminishing returns next, but would appreciate your feedback on what you guys might want explained as well. As always, thank you all for watching. You guys have a wonderful day.